People, 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 you need to understand something about human nature. And not only do you need to understand something about human nature, but you need to understand the prophecies that have been written thousands of years ago regarding human nature. Shalom, boys here. And what I want to read to you is Revelation 9, 18 to 21. And this seems to be the mindset of people today. See, we're living in a world now where calamity, all sorts of calamity is hitting people's lives. They're becoming homeless. They're becoming destitute. They're losing their jobs. Uh, they're losing their lives. They're losing their health. And in spite of all of these calamities that are coming up on them, there's two sets of people that the Bible prophesizes about. It prophesizes in uh, the book of Proverbs <clears throat> uh, that people, uh, that the Most High Yah is going to mock them in their day of calamity because he tried to convince people, he tried to stretch his hands out uh, to people via uh, people like us that understand what's going on in the hour that we're living in and, and they reject us. But you got to understand that there's going to be a different set of people, uh, which the vast majority of people seem to be under this spirit today uh, and this reprobate mind. And so you're going to have calamity that's going to come up on people and they're not going to change their ways. And see what we're, what we're seeing today is that people uh, are doubling down uh, on their iniquity. They're doubling down on their hypocrisy. They're doubling down on all of the things uh, that is going wrong in their life. And they refuse to change. And see, the, the, the Most High prophesies that this would take place. So let's read Revelation 9, 18 to 21, because I, we already see this spirit operating in people today. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. For the power is in their mouth and in their tails, for the tails were like unto serpents and at heads, and with them they do hurt. This is about the, the things that are going to come out of the earth and torment people. And the rest of the men, which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils, idols of gold and silver, and brass, and stone, and wood, whether neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. You, do you see what, what's going to take place? Neither repented they of thy murders, nor of thy sorceries, nor of thy fornication, nor of thy thefts. See, these things are going to come up on the world. And these people, they're not going to repent of their idolatries of silver and brass and stone and of wood while they can see nor hear nor walk. Neither are they going to repent of their murders, of their sorceries, or of their fornications, nor of their thefts. See, they're not going to repent of any of this stuff. And you need to understand what's going on. Uh, this is happening clear right before our very eyes. And you got to understand that there's going to be a certain people that the majority of people that are just reprobate, they're going to, they're going to double down. They're, they're not going to repent for anything. And you need to understand that in spite of these plagues and in spite of these things coming up on the earth, they are going to repent not. So you need to understand the mindset of these people. And if you think if all of these things, all of these, 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 these killings and all of this stuff that's going to be happening in Revelation uh, is taking place and they repented not because they have a reprobate mind, the same thought process, the same spirit, the same anti-Messiah, 
the same Antichrist spirit is working in men today, where regardless of how things, bad things get, regardless of how calamity comes into their lives, regardless of all of their idolatry and their false worship, they're going to repent not. They're not going to do it. You got to understand, and this is why the Most High said, uh, after the first and second admonition, reject through the spirit that he's given through his apostles. They've given these instructions for your uh, understanding, for to, to keep your peace. That there are certain people, they're not going to change their minds no matter what you put in there, no matter how much you tell them to prepare. No matter how much you tell them that they're on the wrong path, they're not going to change their thought process for anybody. So therefore, why this is why you said after the first and second admonition reject. Proverbs talks about a certain group of people that uh, are going to get it and going to be rejected by him. Then Revelations talks about a group of people, which is the vast majority of people that are not going to wake up, that are not going to change, that are not going to repent in spite of all of the calamity that's coming in their lives. Understand what's going on here. Uh, and hopefully, just hopefully, it won't be you. Shalom.